Hey, 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 my lovelies. I am your humble ringmaster, Chromada, one of the worst ARC players on the globe, and this 100 days, my friends, is done on the Archive SMP, a server filled with many of your favorite content creators across YouTube and Twitch, where we make friends and foes, help each other, as well as maybe raid each other, in an ongoing struggle to see who can rise to the top either through power or gold. In this wacky topsy-turvy adventure, we will be attempting to beat the Savage Acro, the insanely powerful boss. And without further ado, let the show begin! We start off our journey by heading on over to meet the other creators at the established marketplace, the only PvE zone on the map, which was streamed right here on YouTube. We took a look around and find the market hall, along with a jail with a bounty board, on which for... Some reason, I'm listed as wanted dead. Like, bro. I don't know. I just got here. After introducing ourselves and designing our character a bit, along with crafting my very own mini-me Chibi from our creator Chibi mod, we set out and stumbled across natural causes. Together we went to do a note run to get some easy early levels. As we were getting notes and doing our best to survive the vicious wildlife, we had our first encounter with an attacker. Hey, 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 what? <laughs> what? Wait, 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 what's going on? Stop that. Yes, my friend, Aaron, I know it was you who made me most wanted. After successfully fending off Aaron at deck, we proceeded to get our butts handed to us multiple times to a plethora of reasons, and just as we think we have a moment to catch our breath, another creator decided to mess with us. Kid. He's glitching up so hard. What, what, what the hell, kitty? Be nice or fake buddy dies. I was uh, just coming to like a bull at you a little bit and you just took it a little too far there. You see, it is the one and only Vad. Vad, what is your way of solving this issue? Well, I think you two should fight and winner gets one gold coin. Who's your money on? So I could kill you, but I won't. I will claim moral high ground and not kill you even though I won. <laughs> oh my God, you're such a brat. Moving on from those shenanigans, Nat tamed up a Pteranodon, we gifted Kitty her favorite dino, a pego of all things, to set apart our differences, which led Kitty to join our tribe. Oh my god, I love you guys! Nat and Kitty flew out to a base location that Nat had wanted to build at and would come back for me later, leaving me afraid and alone in the forest with my chat telling me the boogeyman Aaron was in the area. Finally, once Nat came to pick me up, he told me that apparently he had picked someone out of the sky and dropped them to their deaths. Uh, you know, I think uh, we might be, uh, you know, maybe making enemies too early on in this adventure. But this is not the only place I'll be making enemies, oh no. As I fight it out like many of you in the fantasy RPG where new legends will be born. Bloodline, Heroes of Lithos. Welcome to a beautifully designed world where you will find yourself obtaining amazing champions and raising heirs by creating entire family trees as you have the freedom to customize your champions by marrying different bloodlines together to obtain heroes with unique and powerful abilities that suit your playstyle. Offering an easy to use control setup along with the ability to build your own kingdom with its own economy, it's hard to believe that the game is free to play on both Android and iOS. Meet Lycanus, a powerful clan of werewolf assassins. How about the mighty demigods known as the Fulgur, that have the best AoE skills? Also, my lovelies, I got some special goodies for you. By using my link, you can get the Dragonborn Clan of Karg for free. They can even transform into real dragons. Also, through my link, you get a half-Dragonborn, half-Demigod hybrid heir, which is extremely rare. Be sure to download and try the game for free by using my link in the description or by scanning this here QR code for even more gifts. That being a special starter pack worth $20, comprised of 20 intimacy packs, 100,000 gold, and 100 diamonds. Thank you, Bloodline Heroes of Lithos, for sponsoring this video. Now, I must return back to the SMP to help my friends set up camp. We settled on this little hill in the middle of the swamp and began to build our little shack, although the local bugs were not too pleased with us moving in There's without so notice. There's so many bugs! There's so many bugs! Holy shit! Oh no! You got this, bro! The next time I logged in, I saw that I'm dead by Kitty's hands. Why are you bullying me? She claims she intended to just take out Nat for his bounty at that time and that my death was just an accident, but I'm not buying it. The only thing that could lift my spirits after having been betrayed was that Nat had gotten us some tames while I was gone working on my 100 Days Primal Fear video at that time. I did my best to spend my time efficiently to level up as much as I could since I needed to catch up since most of the other creators on the server seemed to be much further ahead than Nat and myself. We got some flak gear and my friend here bought a PT from one of the market stalls. 
Our priority was to strengthen our defenses, which led us to start working on our base, when Arc Attic brought us some gifts. Some of that. Thank you. Much appreciated, my man. Just buying some tribal alliance, that's all. We split up. Nat to go get some metal and myself to get us a Fiomia. So I got us a Dimorphodon and named it Celestia. Don't worry, I got a Fiomia too. I just got a little bit distracted. And once I got this Fiomia, I named this fella Fruit. As I returned with our new companions, I Don't Skate brought us some blueprints? Apparently he and Nat made a deal while I was gone and I'm still unsure of what that deal was until this very what day. What did you promise him in return? With this, we crafted up two ascended long neck rifles, which helped us get a tech parasaur for a future oil farm. Nat's just like, start using your tools correctly or I'm disowning you. Day four was amazing. We got so much metal loaded up, made some trank darts, trapped up some high level RGs using a trap, KO an Anki, buy some mutton from the shop with the pocket change we had, and tamed everything up. Hey, Crow. Yeah? Look up. Uh, I see something falling. That's probably me. While he was gone, I tamed this 150 because, I mean, why not? While Nat is who knows where, taming up a Spino, apparently. Look at him. He's just like, I am one with the suit. To be sure we would not run out of RGs, we made sure to breed them, of course. I can't remember why, but for some reason on day 5, I went to tame a Dimetrodon, got distracted and tamed a Tech Parasaur, which was useless by the way, as the one we had was already of the same gender, went to go get some prime meat, but sadly, my 2B tamed Dimetrodon got deleted by some raptors that just happened to be playing near it. At least we got some snails tamed up at base thanks to Nat who got some veggie cakes from who knows where. I take my eyes off of him for two seconds, he comes back with something. I made a pen where we dropped the blue Doodicarus into, which was also, by the way, reluctant to become our new bestie. Alright, uh, he's in his bowl. I was awoken next morning by a request from my tribe mate to bring mutton to a secret location. And when I made it there with the payload, I saw that Nat had knocked out a Quetzal. Now it makes sense why earlier he had gotten himself a Archaeopteryx and a net gun. We hurried to get it tamed up as we were invited to our first ever server event, Kitty's Summer Pool Party. We met up with many of the others at this nice little cabana shack place to socialize, get dressed up in some of the summer bash things before the main event, the Diplo Race. When everyone's got their booty bags, come to me. She had prepared diplos for all of us, and the race is as follows. Start at the cabanas, first to get to the Red Ob wins round one, and then again from Red Ob back to the cabanas to win round two. And considering our diplos can flick players off their mount, this was gonna be a bumpy ride. No! I'm catching up, bro! Oh my gosh. I'm third place! Oh my god, I did it! Oh, I did it! Let's go! Yeah, baby. Clutch that drop to get the win. But the race ain't over just yet. Go! I'm hearing Super Mario. I'm ahead! Nat, we got this in the bag! Sweet victory, baby! Nat, we got big cash money, baby! Well, I think I can crown myself the best Diplo racer known to date by winning both rounds for Nat and myself, which, to be fair, is the best possible outcome, I'd say, due to that the tribe of Nat Meta is known at this point as the hobos of the server. The Ascended Giga saddle we won was also a nice little added touch. Thank you! We celebrated, had some special drinks made yeah. by Kitty. I, we all know purple juice. Which, you know, I stupidly drank and ended up being poisoned. It's poisoned. And note to self, <laughs> never trust Kitty. I flew on home to log out in the peace of my own home after a long day of partying. My bad luck coupled with my lack of IQ seems to know no bounds as I logged back into being dead, most likely due to the poison. And I never put the money or the Giga Saddle away, so they are lost forever. Nope, oh, no point sobbing over it though, as Nat had been very busy at our base with some major improvements. Obviously, I pitched in to get this build livable ASAP, which required an extensive metal run for those fancy walls. A neat thing that we had set up by now was essentially unlimited oil with the Tech Parasaurs and the Soul Terminal, Along with all the cementing paste we could ever need, thanks to the snails well, uh, in the terminal as well. We got a little bit more than some. 
A little trade we made was giving a Archeops to Kitty in exchange for some pocket change so we weren't flat broke anymore. We money, no. To our surprise, we spotted a 140 Quetz, which we for sure knew we wanted. Ooh, mama. So the little money I got, I spent on a new PT and some mutton and went into hot pursuit, which ended in me accidentally falling to my death based on my Oh notes. shit, I'm about to die. I'm, I'm gonna die. E, e attack? Yeah. <laughs> Nat said that he had spotted a 130 of the opposite gender, so we knew these two would be great to breed, so we quickly made more net projectiles, but we needed more obsidian to make all the supplies we needed, so I set out, but as focused as we were to get all the things we needed, we still found time to mess with Kitty. <laughs> Nice little thing we spotted was Funyun's base, looking all cool and snazzy. Made a harpoon launcher, and made like a thousand chibis at night for more XP. Day 8, massive metal run was done, prepped a lot of gunpowder for future turrets and shotgun shells, along with gathering stuff for an indie forge. However, on day 9, we returned to try and get those quetzals, and of course, they were all nowhere to be seen. But we did come across CJ the Cheese DJ's base, looking all cool and shit. A key part to my journey was discovered later that day. A perfectly colored RG based on my color palette of the channel, so of course I wanted it. Especially since this video closely marks the anniversary of my first ever 100 days on this channel. So I was determined to redeem myself from that video right here on this server by actually learning how to breed for colors and stats. It's about time. Nat joined me on this by bringing some supplies for the team. Thank you. And by day 10, Canvas was ready Freddy. Such a gorgeous specimen. Soon its colors would be bred into our good stat RGs. On the way home, I saw I Don't Skate and Kitty's base, which was looking super neat. And to my surprise, Nat had tamed a level 145 Rex right down the river. We had a fun little side quest today though. Kitty invited us to take part in raiding CJ's base. Since he was offline. And his turrets were off. And we have no honor. Hey, if you're gonna have the Giga next to the base, I'm not going. Okay, let me get on the thing, and I'll put him away. Okay, I put five. <laughs> oh, damn. Yes. Well, this is owner the cheese thing, yeah. I found the gold chest. It's at the top. Oh. Well, I might not be too proud of that raid, but we did get richer. And y'all already know I'm only about that cash money. But we did feel like, aside from taking the gold for ourselves without giving Kitty a cut, we needed to have a uh, friendly little chit-chat over prior <laughs> happenings between us. It's almost as if this has happened before. How the no, turntables... No, 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 no! Let me take her to... Oh, please, no! Then it's not us who killed her. That's true. No, I'm supposed to get all my stuff! It's almost as if this is the consequences of your actions, Kitty. You're gonna be going home, trust oh, me. Oh yeah, one way, <laughs> one, one way ticket, baby. Hey Crow, do you wanna play catch? Yeah, let's play catch. You better catch her, Nat, this is on you. So, uh, Nat, do you okay. feel confident in being able to catch her? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you never said sorry while falling. No! No! <laughs> 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 I've got some diners to go sell at the marketplace real quick. No, 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 please, no, 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 no! no. <gasps> oh, now I understand what you were doing! Wait, what's the health on that acro? The health on the acro? Uh, yeah. It's a female, 38 points into health. Now that I would definitely pay premium dollar for. Oh. Please! Please! This is our way of suing Kitty for the emotional damages she's given us. I mean, Kitty, you, you could always go and buy it first so that yeah. you don't leak Skate's lines. Those puppy eyes aren't going to work with us, Kitty. You have to answer one question, and this will determine everything. Okay, are they neutered? No. Okay, well, I'm on my way with my checkbook. It's Nat and Crow's it's, nabbed it's creatures. So <laughs> creatures. I love it. And, uh, it's a pleasure doing business with you, Kitty, as always. What about my stuff that you stole from me? What stuff? I'll throw in the stuff for 20 coins. We helped Kitty and taught her a valuable lesson today. A yes. very valuable lesson. Yeah. 
We are such wholesome best friends. Now Love having it. earned some coin in the most questionable way possible, we did end up spending it all like the idiots we are in Kitty's gambling shop. So she ended up getting everything back essentially. Ekro, we fought up everything in the shop. I got a compass. Nice. I got a latch. I got Ascendant Riot Boots! All these shenanigans, however, got to Chaotic, who set up a bounty on us both, as we might have taken it just a little bit too far. But I, I put a little bit of a price tag on their head. No, it wasn't on no big pockets. He stole my gas mask, bitch. <laughs> I will not let you out. I want my damn gas mask, and then I'll do it. <laughs> do you promise? I promise, I am a man of integrity. That is not what I've been told before. I'll give you the gas mask, okay? And then you let him out. The best part out of all this was that I got a ascended long neck to replace the one that I'd lost at some point. I don't even know where I lost it, but I, co I couldn't find it anymore. On the quest for a quest, I stumbled upon the base of Zany Zebra and TDS the Tree, when I get pulled out of my mission to bring Nat Carrots for another one of his little plans. This was a wholesome one, though. We ended up taming a unicorn and gifted it to Kitty as a way of making up for the trouble we caused. Come with a delivery. With a peace offering. Which she happily accepted. I will love you and protect you for the rest of my life. With that sorted, I got back to the Indie Forge grind. For day 12, I just flew around to look for cool dinos from the mods, which led me to selling the info on the location of some good woolly brackies to Chaotic for some easy gold. We'll just add this to the tab. And for 13, I spent my time taming a 140 Rex without a trap, which took forever, but having tamed it up successfully, my plan was to make hundreds of babies with the sole purpose of them being nuked in a soul terminal for easy XP. However, the one we already had at home was of the same gender. So, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Or not. Aaron Aztec's base was found in the redwoods, looking all snazzy amongst the trees. And finally, towards the evening, I dabbled into breeding my RG colors with our good RG stats. As the new day dawned, I was out and about looking for a male Rex to tame, when one of the members of Tribe of Pizza, comprised of Casavad, Sapphire of Flames, Arc Addict, and Ninja Killer, tried to pick me. Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that was rude. At least I got away. I was at least efficient with my searches, being sure to collect explorer's notes and craft billions of chibis during my flights. In the redwoods, I spotted Chaotic taming a Bracky. Ooh, look at that. Bro. Hi. No, don't worry. I was looking at you fighting it. It looked really cool. He was kind enough to pay me for the Bracky location information from earlier. Oh, thank you. And on the road, I again spotted a 135 quets. I was not letting this one get away, so I rushed home to grab some nets and an Archeopteryx and began the taming process. This being the first time I attempted to tame one on my own. We landed our net and placed gates on it, but it did still end up making an escape. A second round of netting and gate placing secured it though to land enough tranks on it to knock it out. And there you have it. It was all tamed up on day 15, so I brought it home for safekeeping. And back to the tame searching, which led us to spot Stevie's base. And later in the snow, an interesting Willy Brecky. <gasps> this is the dinosaur that Abraham Lincoln would ride in the battle. I mean, just look at him. Sadly, not a single good dino was spotted, but I needed to return home to prepare for the new event on the server. As I awoke at the crack of dawn, I saw that canvas, the RG, had died. Uh... Nat, where's my RG? Apparently due to a boa getting into the base. I was sad, but luckily I had bred some eggs already so I could still continue the color experiments. And Nat somehow got his hands on theories while I was gone and was breeding them, so that happened. He could have tamed them, stolen them, bought them, I don't even know, okay? And I'm not gonna ask. We might not have much, but we went to Arc Addict's Battle Arena on Day 16, where fights would happen between tames based on weight class for gold. But as joyful as the vibes were, we had a creeping suspicion that someone might try to take us out in the bad way. He has a suit on his attitude. Ah, oh, now he's unconscious. Creators begin fighting it out for fame and glory. <laughs> <laughs> but mainly gold. But Nat and I didn't have anything that could compete with the others. Oh. What happened there? Free stuff. I got it. That's fine! And this hullabaloo continued into day 17. I can show you the world. Ah! Okay. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's not close at all. I challenge you, Aaron Aztec, bows and bolas, fight me. Bows and balls? What? 
go, 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 go. It's loot goblin time. Where my stuff? Right. Bro has it. No, I don't. Luckily, we had at least one improvised dino that we could enter into the fights. One of our RGs. Come here, and I'll give you your shit. Wait, where's my goat? My goat! We win that! Hey, we did it! Oh, yeah, I can go to make metal. Gamba, Gamba, Gamba! Gamba, Gamba! Whoa! Oh, God! Get me out of here. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! So, uh, who's got all my stuff? It's not me this time. I don't have anyone's stuff this time. Uh, they're eating the stadium. Why is it not? What is going on? Oh. Holy I'm moly. Come on. Come on. Oh. No. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. oh. And this is why you don't stand inside the arena. Okay, so I might have been stealing people's stuff when they died to whatever reason, but I gave the stuff back. Except for their implants, I could claim bounties on them down the line if they ever got one. <laughs> Fight! He's on, he's on neutral, so uh, he's thing. The maneuver for the T20! Oh, we're going! Let's go! No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, no. During the celebration, people started realizing that Nat was placing C4 on everyone's teams before he got to blow everyone up. Uh, who put the C4 on the mother? Who does that? Definitely not us. I'm sure that it won't be long before everyone starts turning on us. And finally on day 18, the grand finale for a grand total of 600 coins. Here we go. Fight! Damn, son, where'd you find this? Oh no! It's going down! It's going down! No! That was a fun and lovely little get together. We gathered to take a group photo when, of course, someone set a spider to attack us, killing some of the people in the shot. Things can never be completely wholesome here, can they? But hey, in this commotion, we got Addict's implant and claimed his bounty, so we're walking away with at least some cash. Right after this, we were all invited to try to raid the Alpha Tribe of the server comprised of Cyan and Chaotic. However, yours truly slightly misunderstood the assignment, okay? I thought that the people that were organizing this raid, that being Tribe of Pizza, would be supplying us with gear for the raid. So my dumbass showed up first with a long neck and a dream, baby. Extremely underprepared, I waited for the others to arrive. When for some reason, I guess I didn't have my PC on passive, which ah. led it to fly into their water base and, you know, ended up getting itself deleted. Oh, no. So, I'm stuck on an iceberg with no means of transport with little to no gear. This, you know, in case you couldn't tell, is my first raid ever. Finally, some of the cavalry arrived with catapults, so we began our barrage. I got killed by Cyan. No. Oh, I hit. Oh, stopped. <laughs> and this is where I learned that, you know, raids, they take a long time as this dragged into day 19. Okay, so the tribe of Nat met up pulled out when we realized that Nat's RG also died and, you know, we kind of had all of our gold on it and was unreachable. So the hobos simply just can't keep a hold on their money, that's for sure. And I know that I have so much to learn when it comes to raiding in this adventure. God, I'm so fucking done. But yeah, day 20 was pretty standard. Hatch the RG eggs to continue breeding and working on the big old base, which we had already planned out. More build, build, build on 21, which was made fun by having someone to play with. Or do we want to make it like a like a wedding cake and we do another layer of ceiling and... Are you asking me to marry you? I thought <laughs> we already were. Oh, right, true. We already are, right. Makes sense. To break it up, we did a little obsidian run at the volcano in between the production phases and uh, made the Indie Forge, finally. There you go, nice. 22 started nicely with a little trade with Tribal Pizza. Da, 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 da. This one and this one. Thank you very much, friend. I made a quick trip to the market to buy some special supplies to make a cliff platform, which I placed at the back of our base to make our greenhouse on it, which was already underway, by the way. Sadly, we came to the agreement to change all of our outer walls, so that needed to be taken down and done, redone again. But if we are going to make a base, we was going to make it pretty. A little trip was made to get pelt to make some bunk beds, and a baby parasaur tech farm was running smoothly. 
As I took to the skies on day 23 to find some tames, Addict could use some help taming up a decent Rex, so I gladly lent him a hand, which began a lovely relationship between our tribes to trade tames back and forth to get good stats into our breeding lines. 24 was one of breeding Rex's and Argy's, the latter being to get a perfect pair for the perfect colors, so in case I'd ever lose a cool RG, I can keep my brand colors at all times. Gotta keep up those aesthetics and, you know, that ain't easy. General stuff was done for maintenance like meat runs to make more narcotics and more of that sweet sweet metal baby. By day 25 we had already some soul terminals set up that they functioned as XP bombs as we were nuking hundreds upon hundreds of hatchlings in them at a time, along with doing some crystal runs for a bajillion soul balls, as well as to make this here chemistry bench, and to work on the stylish greenhouse of course. 26, making some boom boom powder breeding, working on the keep roof until it was finally done, and progressed the walls. 27 had some action though, I was invited to join in a broodmother fight, which I gladly accepted, as I just needed to be there and look pretty. Alright, this nice. is an easy fight for Easy clap. Easy squeezy boys. Just looking Three, bloody. Two, one. Bam. Nice. Okay, quick photo, 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 photo. Mm. Alright, I'll soul ball the uh, theory and give it back to you. I can keep it? Yeah. Ah, thank you, man. After that, my breeding pair of Rexes was finally complete. With that off of the checklist now, I went to the north to look for some beauties. As expected, finding a good one was close to impossible as they aggro onto everything and anything, so I ended up dragging this piggy up the cliff where I knocked it out and tamed it using some pride meat I had gotten from some nearby mammoths. The night was cold, so I set up a little fire to ride out the storm as my hunt was not yet over. A partner for our pig was found of the same level, one having better health and the other better food, so I'd need to mix those stats together. So much to learn. And well, I guess I'd ever learn, I guess, as both pigs I got were female. Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. As I was building the walls, as that seemed to be the only thing I was good at, Attic brought one of his super pigs to solve my breeding problem. There you go. So, in return, I gave him a pair of Rexes. Now our Deodons could get to work. 29 had me trying to tame up a Yudi, which brought me flashbacks to my first 100 days attempt at a Yudi tame, as I knocked it out underwater, thinking our fast taming rates on the server could help me succeed. And all I can say is, history does repeat itself, as it died before the tame was done due to a drowning. Oh no. So, head on home to gear up again, and also to make a trap. Day 30 was a success. I got 135 level UD with not very great stats, but you know, finding a good UD is like finding a needle in a haystack. I did get stuck in a pit, but a year after my first video, I can assure you that I learned whistle commands just enough to get out of some sticky situations like this. Hey, let's go. In between wall building, we were getting some melee mutations into the Rex line, doing my best to learn some good breeding tactics from Chaotic Sky. 31, just building the fort, not much else. And by day 32, I trapped up a second beauty, and after luring all of its carnos off the cliff, this one was ours. The celebration was cut short though due to a uninvited guest. We will be seeing more of these, I'm sure. There you go. Thank you, baby boo. Thankfully, this new UD had better health than the last one, so that helps out a bit. The amount of species that I was breeding at this point was slowly getting overwhelming for this base, though. 33 was designated entirely to the greenhouse as it needed more resources to be gotten, to be built, but now it was finally fully completed. Having now gotten a perfect pair of piglets, I returned the favor that Attic showed me by giving him back his own Here's piggy, piggy back, my friend. along with a pair ready to go. He asked if I'd like to tag along for some artifact hunting, which I accepted, of course. First up was the artifact of the pack. We placed some sleeping bags at the entrance, and in we went. We do an artifact, huh? First time in here for me, so I took this as a bit of a, you know, arc tour of sorts. Thanks to our consumables, we barely had to do any fighting at all. Pretend they're not there. And I could grapple until the last bit of the artifact cave, to which Attic couldn't quite fit through. So I just simply got it twice and split the artifact and its gold with him. Next up was the Artifact of the Devourer, another first for little old me. We were doing alright until he took a little nap from some of the Megalania. Not to fear though, I looted some Simberries, shoved them in his mouth and there he was, fresh as a daisy. The rest was super chill, each snapping up one of the Artifacts and skedaddled on out of there. <laughs> alright, well, thank you for the invite and I'll see you around buddy. 
Later. As much as I had my hands full with breeding, considering I'm still a noob after a year of playing this game intensely, I went to tame some Baryonyx as I wanted some good ones for some future water shenanigans. Once a level 145 was spotted, I rushed over to the market to buy some Prime, when I stumbled across a 150 right next to it. So, tamed up the 150 even though its stats yeah. were disgusting. Its stats are blech. And then rushed to the first one that I saw, and after tranking it while simultaneously fending off some pesky Trudons, it was ours as well. At least the second one had some stats that I could work with, so, you know, there, this would be a good little breeding project as well. 36 was a bit of a blur as we mainly were just messing around on the server, but later in the day I went to go look for some dolphins to tame, as an Echti would be a perfect tame to go do my first ever deep sea loot crate hunt. In the morning of day 37, a male was tamed. Little side note, I caught wind through Discord that Nat was throwing away all of our money again into Giddy's Casino. I don't mind that per se. You know, hey, if, if we don't have gold, there's no point in raiding us, right? I tamed up another Ichti and set them to breed where I made my first little shack about a year ago. So, since the nostalgia hit me hard, I rebuilt that shack to the best of my abilities for all time's sake. 38 was primarily spent making sure that all the breeding lines were going well with their mutations, and Nat bought us a little soldier. A bracky. Damn boy, he thick! Nat also was working on the much needed staircase for the fort, so I was just supplying him with more resources. The day after, I was just chilling at the beach bum shack for the Ichtis to get a good baby to imprint, when I flew over to the Herbie Island just to see the tribe of Pizza Base for a little bit. And then kept on building for the remainder of the day. 40, we had a change of pace as the TOP tribe invited me to go fight Mr. Monkey. And of course, I want to unlock engrams for free. <laughs> hey, bud. Oh, God, that's a chunky monkey. Go, 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 go. Everybody go. Melt his ass! Break his kneecaps! Halfway down. Easy. Ah. Ooh, that one hurt. That one hurt. Ooh, damn, that was great. Slicey slice. And there it is. Bada bang. Uh, was it, was it too easy? They were kind enough to even give me some gold and element for participating, which was a nice gesture. Giving the tribe of Nat Meta for their fantastic services in the boss fight, aka the carry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, uh, six element. Thank you very much, good sir. Much appreciated. <laughs> How much is he worth on the, on the bounty? Yeah, what's the bounty? What's the bounty? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are literally three elements short from crafting that replicator. Crow, crow, what back up? here. What? 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 Can 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 we have three of the element? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. You promise not to fucking kill me. I will give you. I will give you ten gold for three elements. I'll be right there. I'm coming back. One of these things is shiny. <laughs> well, that's true. You like me some shiny things. He's got this little pimp cane he twirls around. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Oh look, he does this little dance move. Look at him go. That dance move is from Spider-Man 3. Is that the thing? That is this, it's the Spider-Man 3. Is that the emo spider? Oh. And hey, why not tag along for an artifact run? I got some gear, met up with them once more, and in we go. Go, go, fairy rangers. Here come yeah. the bats. Oh God. Oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, I got mega rabies. <laughs> just, just, just. <laughs> No, just, you infected oh, no. me! Right now is where I would jump off. Dun, 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 They got to the artifact and needed to hurry on out to not die to the heat. So I just stayed behind waiting for the second one to spawn. And the this is fine meme right now. 41. After leaving the render distance, I picked up one for myself and sneaked on out. Breeding was the main focus as trying to keep track of everything was making my peanut brain short circuit. But now I had a dolphin for Nat and myself if we ever go do runs in the deep. And with the new day dawning, it was time for my first ever run, starting at the shack. This dive was stressful as I'm still not fully used to being in the water, and even though I had a map of all the coordinates, there are sometimes hard ones to find if you've never done this before, but at least at the end of the day, I found at least one, followed by a second one on day 43. I stumbled into this cool pearl cave that I had no clue existed, but sadly, those two crates is all I could find this time, and, you know, nothing really good came out of it. So now I just simply had to wait for the next multiple hours for them to respawn. But hey, this is a social server. 
and we might have just blown all our money on Gamba, but I'm sure I could strike a deal for something good. And I did! I made a trade with I Don't Skate. See, Nat once found a Ascendant Beauty Saddle, and I just happened to get a blueprint for one. So, I traded our already pre-made one to Skate for an Ascendant Shotgun BP as he had a few lying around. I'm a businessman. I started crafting a metric ton of polymer for the weapon, which made Nat almost burst a fuse at my waste of resources, so he sent me to tame some penguins and breed them for polymer and think about my actions to not be so wasteful. Look, man, I'm... I'm still learning, okay? So, we got our first pingu this day, and the next on day 44. So, these lovebirds were getting to know each other to fill a box with babies. Kinda feels like breeding Pokemon, having babies go straight to a storage box. But I needed a moss shops to get as much poly as possible, so I found this 140, brought it home, and per Nat's suggestion, named it Polly Wally Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Done. And at this point, you get it. A lot of my time is spent at base breeding stats and mutations. 45 had me hunting acros, as I need 50 acro glands in total in order to summon the savage acro on day 100. But I was put back in my place for being too cocky. No, 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 no,
So, so what happens here if you get the money from uh, Wilkes no, and then he's, he's Wilkes raids you? I, I did say to disarm him. Got him! I got him! Um, oh, um, nice buffer. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you come here often? People are going to be after you. You might want some turrets. That's fine. We'll be able to afford turrets with the bounty. <laughs> Uh, you might want to trank him out. Uh, don't have my trank. Uh, I can so drop I can do my... Is... <gasps> no, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait. Oh! 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 No! Oh! 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 The game never goes our way, Crow. <laughs> no, it never does. Yep, that there made me feel pretty stupid. I wanted to trank him out and didn't think that that would end him, so that was my bad. He got away. However, we still want money since we're broke and, well, the debt bounty on him was only 10 gold. Which we claim, since if we can't have the 1,000 gold, no one can, okay? Due to this encounter, we started building a bank separate from our fort. Many of the other creators started making gold banks aside from their bases to make sure that their breeders and other cool things do not get involved in raiding as the main goal on the server is just to raid for gold. And finally, at the end of day 47, the bank was complete. So people come up in here, yes, and there are no lights in here. So it's pitch dark probably, hopefully, when they come in, except for Gamma. They come here and there's Hot Rider right here next to a chest. But when you go to this chest, a note and the note says mimic chest the real gold is in here don't worry so this is just to piss people off and i hope that that's effective narcotic traps and if i were to turn to the right there's even more narcotic traps that way behind other doors and the real chest is somewhere in here i'm not gonna say exactly where because I have a feeling I'm going to release this video before season one of the archive is done and that's going to give people an advantage. So I'm not going to say where it is. As for 48, got an XP note and nuked a ton of hatchlings to boost my level up super fast. Bye bye. Made loads of ammo for turrets, made some turrets, placed them on the bank and got to work to make some more. Two more turrets were placed on day 49, set up an industrial cooker to make some kibble, but to make said kibble I needed some things. So for that I went to loot some beaver dams. A snake bit me. Uh oh. This is bad. Oh no. And well, got to grabbing many Rex eggs for the needed kibble. Thanks to all that, I had the needed kibble to tame some Brackies on day 50. I set out to look for some, as the one that Nat had brought home was snipped, so we needed a pair. During my searches, I ended any creature of which I needed some trophy items for bosses, so. Rexes, aloes, acros, you name it, how was ending it? I heard a cry for help on day 51. Kitty and Skate were in the artifact of the Strong Cave and said that their tame had gotten stuck in the water and was slowly dying due to the cold. And they could not use soul balls on it due to the cold damage it was taking every second. I knew that bringing them cryopods would be their only chance to save the tame, so I made some as quick as I could and rushed on over. But just as I got to the cave, they told me that sadly, it already passed away. Oh well, it's the thought that counts. Since I was here already, I just hunted for UD lungs and RG talons as I kept looking for woolly brackies. 52, I decided to try my luck again at the deep sea crates, but had to cut it short as I was losing too much health to the cold. Back at it again on 53. I tried to tame this Dunkleo, but man, its torpor was going down too slow. So, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. Ain't nobody got time for that. Got another drop and went on home as I could feel some tomfoolery brewing. See, Kitty wanted to know the location of Kogorops' base as she wanted to raid him to get some revenge for something he had done, and that claimed he knew of his location. So we went to meet Kitty at the arena to sell our info and potential services. Hey, over here. I heard you want to buy some, some of the Watt stuff. What? 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 Oh wait, no, it's so, wrong, wrong appointment, wrong yep. appointment, sorry, that was, sorry, that, sorry. That's a three, uh, that's you, a three. Uh, you wanted to buy some information. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, um, uh, what kind of information do you have? I have a location. A location? 
I don't like that he's L pointing his gun at me. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> hey, put it away, put it away! Sorry, 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 sorry. There, you are a valuable client. I'm sorry. This might be something that you are looking for, but it's gonna come at a cost. Minus 50! Rat. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's become known okay. to me that this information is highly prized. Okay, okay. Um, here's the deal. I have um, half on me now, and I can give you half after you show me the face. Okay. Very well. Is, is that a Fair. good deal? So we'll, we'll take that. We'll accept okay. half now, and then half once we finish the raid. Okay. And um, if you guys turn on me, so help me God, you will end up on the pool list. We're not forever. On it Oh, forever? Forever, no, Nat. This is a this is a make it or break it situation. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's to the go. to the Skybus two thousand. You can just call me Tan. It's my code Tan. name. Yeah, Tan. Okay. Tan and Rook. Yeah. I'm I, I'm work, work. And off we went in the early morning on our battle quests. There it is. Okay. How much C four do you think? Try two. It'll probably be enough. I'll try one for starters. We don't want to, you don't want to decimate the thing. That's weird. It's not letting me play. Maybe they're falling through the roof. Huh. Okay, let's go tame a dodo that we go use as a sacrifice. Nice. Look at them cheeks. <laughs> work is going to go to work. <laughs> He's just having a ride. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> I wonder if that's a setting that. <laughs> Look, Bob, I'm swimming. Look at me. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, you guys? Let's do it. One, two, three. Um. Where are the fireworks? What? Uh, that was not meant to happen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> shit. Um, uh, save all the things. Well then, that didn't go completely as we wanted it to, but we made sure to get his things to safety so he could pick them up at any time. But now Nat was out trying to tame a trike and a quetz, so he called me over to help. Okay, wait, oh shit. You've got the gates, right? Yep. Got him. One tap, bitch. <laughs> Last shot. One, One more. Yeah. Okay. Done. Oh no, I've gone too far. No. No. Where are you, where are you going? No. 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 There's bad stuff down here, girl. Save me. That does sound a little bit like a you problem. I gotta be honest, my chibi still creeps me the fuck out. So. Come here often. Only when you're here, baby. Shit, took off his. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, right here, right now, wait a minute. I didn't, I don't. <laughs> At least take me out to dinner first. I mean, damn. Oh, sh oh, he's taking me out to dinner. Oh no. Okay, I mean, I can't, I can't really say no at this point. I mean. I'm eating the dinner here. I mean, damn. Uh, uh, I've got these as well. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. That was handcuffs. I'm kind of worried at this point. Uh, me too. My entrepreneurial endeavors shined again on day 55 as I traded a breeding pair of UDs to Tribe of Pizza for an Ascended Fairy Saddle BP. It's a very expensive BP, but hey, I'm satisfied. I continued my Bracky search, the result of which was just that I got a bajillion spino sales. But my assistance was required back at base, as a little birdie told me that the tribe of Natmita was going to get online raided by Chaotic, Aaron, and Kitty. So our defenses needed to be bolstered. So, here's the deal. I've never been online raided before, so I tried to think a little bit outside of the box to an extent. I started with placing some secret turrets in the swamp based on where they would most likely be coming from. And Nat was cooking up his own little surprise. The wall. Look, if we don't know what we're doing, then they don't know what we're doing. And here we are. Day 57 and the attackers were underway. I quickly got some things to make some jars of pitch since they're flashy and cinematic. Gotta give them a show, you know. 
with Skate and Cyan being the camera crew next to the fight zone, with an RGI view, the battle commenced. Shot him. Oh, yeah, they're in the swamp. Nice. I don't say anyone ever use those. We gotta push forward, but they got the damn jars of bitches. Remember, kitty. Remember. I got it. Whip it! Whip it, bitch! Whip! <laughs> Whip! Nat! Drop her, drop, drop her, Nat! Drop her, Nat! Drop her, Nat! Drop her, Nat! Yeah, let's go, baby! <laughs> ah, bada bing! Oh my gosh, that is a damn tanky stego. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Ow. Yeah, get off our ledge. Yeah. <laughs> get off my property! No. It burns! It burns! It burns! The bird shot so overpowered. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Got it, goddamn! Uh. Nat, I'm gonna go and have a little bit of fun. That's fine with you. Go for it. Oh, you think uh, so, eh? Wanna fight, Kitty? Wanna fight? I might as well whittle you down and sacrifice myself in the moment. Alright, I whittled down trouble. Oh. Oh. Fear roar. Nat, I'm about to have some more fun. So, I can already hear some of you thinking, Pro, why are you pulling out a ton of fairies in the middle of the fight? Well, you see, my pretties, this is the new PvP Crow Meta. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I have a plan. It's not a smart plan, but it is a plan. All right, my pretties. My pretties, it is time. There. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him, fairies. Eat him. Scissor hands, get his booty. Eat that soaker! Eat him! Eat him! Yes! Eat him! Woo! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Da 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 Eat his strikes! Eat him! Destroy his FOB! Destroy him! Oh, what the hood? Dude. Defensive stance, Kitty. Defensive stance. I'm trying. Push him back. Trouble's going down. Trouble's get going him, down. Get him. Hey, Kurt, How do you keep should, should I activate? Defensive? Should I activate Kurt, you Sigma Helena oh. fire next to legendary defense? Give me a sec to set up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are we ready to activate Sigma Helena inspired excellent legendary defense? I yep. think we I'm are. Not even there. Uh, oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a sec, Nat. Uh, Give yep. me a sec, Nat. I'm prepping. I'm prepping. Give Be me careful. a sec, Nat. Like, stand out. The wall. <laughs> the wall. <laughs> Which way? Where, where am I going? Wow. I don't know. I don't I know. It, I brought. I brought in a what? light attack force, and I should have brought in a large. <laughs> the hobos have been fucking doing the work. Wait, Chris, behind the wall. Behind, behind the, wall. the wall! Behind the wall! <laughs> behind the Advance. wall! Advance! Advance, where, where Legion! They? Uh, they're by the boat. What the fuck is that? <laughs> the wall! <laughs> Nat, uh, should we do, uh, the ace up our sleeve? Nat, I'll take, I'll tank. Well, you go. Yeah. Oh, go. boy. Ooh. Rush me! Rush me! Oh, it's running! It's, it's running. running! No, the trees are stuck in me! <laughs> the trees! I got stuck in the oh, trees. Shit. Oh, no. Whoa. Really, bro. <laughs> Alright. Keep your distance, Nat. I mean, if we lose the creatures, we lose the creatures. Come on! Pick! Pick! Nat's powerful escape! 
the 90 health escape. 90 health escape, let's go! Dodge and weave, boy, dodge and weave. No! <laughs> well, here's the good thing. The fairies are at least on the vote, so they're aggressive. So if they spawn in and walk out, they're fucked. Nice, we disabled the boat. We disabled the boat, Nat. I, I have no... I'm just stuck in this metal box. I don't know what to do. Yeah, the shuffle was flying off. Ah, I tried. Oh, I heard an explosion, Nat. What was that, Nat? What was that? Oh, shit. That was probably Aaron. That was probably Aaron. They really just met the trees. Very good. Oh, he was right here. I picked him! I picked Aaron! Nat, it's time. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Kenny, Kenny, get ready to bite! Get ready to bite! They're coming! <laughs> There's the I army. Walk right. I yep. walk right. No, I'm pulling back, I'm pulling back. Oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. So we're doing this, are we, Kitty? Eat them, Kitty, eat them. Get it. He keeps pulling them back. Oh, that's all the theory's gone. Wait, wait, oh, no, why, no, why did they go attack? Yeah. Ah. Oh, no, that's you. fuckers. <laughs> ah, rip. This FYI, will be the hardest two gold they've ever worked for. You're almost dead. You just threw out a pocket thing and the protein. Fair. Yo, Nat. I retrieved yeah. one of our uh, turrets that was down there so we can load this motherfucker up too. Nice. <laughs> oh, they're in the back. Fun. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, oh, I love this saddle. Oh, I love this saddle. No, it's good, ain't it? Uh, yeah, people play that. Uh, <laughs> yee, going for the wrong person. Get the gig up. Him up now. Uh -oh. These whoopsers, whoopsers take damage. Yeah. You chaotic behind you. Chaotic guy just down it because of net. Got really kills. Oh no shit! <laughs> careful, careful. Then we're in. Bye bye. <laughs> Come back here, you little shit. Motherfucker. Ah, died to fall damage. <laughs> Alright. Alright. That's it. Cease fire. Cease fire. Oh, you fall. I wouldn't mind my stego back. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't have the stego. No, back. you can't have the stego. All right, here's the deal. I will unclaim them, and you guys can have them. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. But I want my turtle back over there. All okay. I ask for is one pod after I unclaim them. Okay. 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 God damn it! I'm like right here. Okay, then fine. Let's do it. Oh no. Fine. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 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 That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're doing it now. We're doing it live. Fuck it. We're doing it live. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fight me, bitch! Fight me! <laughs> Melted! And <stop. laughs> there we go. Melted. Yeah. Good game, sir. Good, good game. game. <laughs> good game. It was a, it was a, it was a good game. I'm out. You we win, Matt. We yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, We're good. We fucking win. No one expected Congratulations. that. The turn of the century. Congratulations. <laughs> we did it, everyone. Our preposterous ways of defending ourselves got us the win. It was a very exciting fight and has made me grow a bit fonder of raiding between friends due to the laughs we had. We hosted a little funeral. But right after that, Nat and I took a gander at all the loot we got. Back on the Bracky search on day 60 with no luck at all. To be fair, I was being very picky as if I was gonna go through the whole hassle of taming one, I wanted to make a count. In the deeps of day 61, I got an ascended Quetz platform BP. Maybe one day we can make an improved wall Quetz. More and more land grinding and trading some resources to addict for its tech Quetz. 62 was more of the same, getting acro glands. Also, I was not only looking for Brachys at this point, I was also keeping an eye open for a good health stat Danazukis, the big old Crocs, as Tribe of Pizza had a good melee one, and if I could get one that could breed with that, we would all be happy. There was a dino wipe, so I checked all day long on day 63 to no luck whatsoever, and did an ocean run, which, surprise surprise, didn't have any good loot at all. Still in the water on day 64, when the salesman in me showed himself again, I was spotting some good Helicoprions thanks to the wipe, so I struck a deal with Chaotic and Addict. I'd give them the location of the two breedable ones for 200 gold and a breeding pair for the tribe of Nat Meta once they got their stats bred together. Which they accepted, so Nat and I were pretty happy. Later I did a metal run to keep bullet production going. Targets spotted! A 150 croc! That is perfect! I grabbed it with the new tech quets and brought it towards the market as I needed to buy some money. Hey buddy. I dropped her near the cabanas and began to tame this mamma jamma. Uh oh. I gave you food, we're friends! This is bad, this is bad, this is very, very, very bad. My booty cheeks! This tame was taking quite a bit. It was made easier when it got stuck in the structures, so now it was just a matter of feed, walk away, and repeat. And finally, the starlit sky. Big Bertha was locked and loaded. I can't complain about the health either. There you go. It's better than the tribe of pizza one had, so I'm sure we could strike a good deal. Even though I had no luck with Brackies whatsoever, Nat pulled up to the base with a female one, so now all I needed was to make sure to get a good male. And if there was no good male, at least if I just get a male, I could breed Brackies and could have an amazing source of hide for those expensive fairy saddles from the BP we got. So. I made one final push to look for Brackies, as I was getting more glands, of course. And there it is, everyone, a level 150 decent stat male Bracky. I was jittering with excitement. I got ready to tame it, having only been told by others how to do it, so I was still relatively clueless as to how it goes. I began doing as I was told, aggro it, wait for it to lift itself up and shoot him in the shins to raise its torpor. And I was anxious, as I mentioned during this, and I did it bad. You see, I shot one bullet too much as it knocked out, lowering its taming effectiveness significantly. That quite upset me, but oh well, time to wait for it to wake up. In the meantime, repair my weapons and get more ammo, and do it all again. This time, however, it just did not want to stay aggroed onto me, making it extremely frustrating to tame it as if it doesn't lift itself up, its torpor dropped too quick for me to keep up without killing it in the process. All I could do right now was to wait for it to heal up, so I went to go and trade Big Bertha to Tribe of Pizza so they could breed a pair for both our tribes, and then try to do something out of desperation, which was bringing a wild Deodon all the way from the snow, all the way down to the Bracky in hopes that it heals the Brack. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. So to spend my time efficiently instead of just loodling my thumbs waiting for the bracket to heal, I accepted a public invite from Miss Vadams to come do some cave runs on foot as she was live on stream. 
So the creators available joined up and we began our expedition. Oh, oh hey, he fast. Oh, he fast. Oh, he fast. Okay. He was fast. He like. Yeah. He like, He's zooming. <laughs> Around the corner. <laughs> sorry. I'm so I just, sorry. I, just, I'm so I hear sorry. shots coming from right behind me. I'm like, oh shit, don't shoot me. <laughs> like an hour, at, at least. Oh, well, Aaron doesn't even do the cave, and he just comes into the field. Yeah. I know what. Nice. Now we're in a stick situation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, run. Oh. Bit, actually. Um. Oh, here comes sleeping Are you... guitar man. <laughs> This is the dumbest thing Nad's figured out how to do. Oh, right. <laughs> do it again, do it again, Nad. Yeah, how did you do that? Oh. <laughs> Wait, are you in oh. admin mode? No. No. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. I'm not doing too great there, buddies. Oh, Hold it's up here, it's head. up here. Nat, you fucking... Oh, sorry. No, it's right. This is PG-13. Oh, oh, sorry. No, you're allowed uh, to say uh, swear words. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's just Nat just jumped over to give me rabies, you... <laughs> I'm going back home to restock on supplies. I can't do this. I don't have enough stuff. What? Well, people needed to prep for the artifact of the massive. So Crow just went to the Bracky as he did the math. It does heal up significantly faster if it's in render distance, so they just got to know each other some more. Day 70, it was time for us to do another cave run. With Aki this time. This feels like a Skyrim cave, to be honest. Die, I always die here. Well, what you do is go into the prone and creep out. Go into the what? Sometimes you prone. Like, like crouch. Oh wait, is that oh, the Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. Doink. <gasps> oh, yeah. there's a hole. Uh, there we go. <laughs> you didn't die, did you? No, no I can still no, see. No. Oh, that was close. Skip the heartbeat there. Oh, I got rabies. Don't. Oh, I'm dead. Nat, again! Oh, watch out for friendly fire, Oki. Okay. Ah! Run back up, run back up, run back up. Run back up. Run back up. I can't run back up. I got the rabies! I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I, drank, I drank antidote. I'm good. I'm clean! Oh, hello, Megalosaurus. Oh, bro, that's not a fun thing to do. Oh, my God. Oh, Aaron. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. Really? Did I didn't you know just they killed him. Hey, what's up, Rocky? Whoa. Um, yeah, we'll do what we'll oh, just you. Ah! Oh, you know. oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Yeah, did you just jump in with the sock? <laughs> oh, I, did no, 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 no. I definitely did not jump in willingly. Jeez, oh, what is this? Just watch everyone be small. Ah, grapple! <laughs> they survive. Oh. <laughs> oh. She survived, Harry. How did I live? Yeah, yeah. Oh, isn't there supposed to be gold spawning in the Yeah, because, yeah. Just... No, Aaron, Aaron took it before you got the artifact. <laughs> Sadly, this first bit of day 71 footage got lost, but with a heavy heart, I need to tell you that the Bracky we wanted was gone. Just vanished, nowhere to be seen, all that time and effort for nothing. I was legitimately sad. I can only assume that some other wild creature killed it. I don't know what could have done that, but that's all I got. But here's the funny bit. At this point, Nat is like Dungeons and Dragons wild magic, man. You never know what's going to happen with this guy. He pulled up with a male Bracky and some new dinos from our mods, some Dinotheriums. Just look at these dudes, they're battle elephants. We began breeding our Brackies, my goal being to ASAP get an equal pair as I needed to stack melee and health mutations for the acro fight as these would most likely be my main source of DPS. However, Nat made a good point. We needed a space for breeding all this crap. So after an extensive metal run, we set our plan into motion. 72 was entirely spent building our breeding platform in the swamp. And there you go, it was done by day 73. So now it was my job to get all of our tames set up within it. By day 74, I got a pair of breeding crocs, so that's nice, and back to focus hardcore on breeding. More of that on 75, but place some air cons in the house in order for the eggs to hatch quicker. And again, 
more of it on 76, but I did get to meet up with Chaotic for him to pay me and give me my pair of Helicoprions as per our agreement, along with a pair of Cryolothosauruses, as apparently Nat helped out Cyan tame one for breeding a while ago, so, you know, I'm not gonna complain. By day 77, I'd like to say that I was kind of confident enough now with how breeding works to be able to leave things alone for a while, with it all just, you know, working non-stop. Which was good, as I had to go get more aqua glands, you know, for the boss. Which is when I ran into Kitty and Skate, which was nice as they lended me a hand. And finally, all 50 glands were gathered on day 78, so the boss fight would be a possibility at the end of our journey. A return to do some breeding checkups along with killing some leftover brackies for just an insane amount of hide. Like, just look at this. Damn! And would you look at that? More breeding on 79! Who could have guessed? But it did start making like a hundred Bracky saddled for the fight, and then we're done on day 80. I realized I did some mutation stacking wrong on some tames, in this case referring to my Rexes in particular, because I couldn't really correct this because I lost my clean female at some point, so I went to tame up a random female hoping to be able to breed that with our clean male stats so that somehow I could end up cleaning up our lines to the best of my capabilities. I had a bit of a fright as I disconnected near some hostiles, but once back in I managed to save our favorite RG Crow's feather last second. I did the right thing, which was head home to heal it up along with preparing a metal gate trap this time. Thanks to that trap, taming this female was a piece of cake, and I named her Bleach, and she would clean up my mutation mistakes. Got her to breed with our clean male, and set out to look for some good acros to tame. Got to stay efficient, I decided to take out some alpha dinos during my searches, as I've never gotten a chibi leveled up yet. So now's the time to do that. And well, after coming back home from an unsuccessful taming mission, I just kept building around the base as our raid cooldown on the server was about to run out, and I didn't want people catching us with our pants down. 83? Breed. And then Deep Sea run hoping for good flak BPs, but got an ascended fabricated sniper, which, you know, you're not gonna hear me complaining about. As I was killing this alpha card on day 84, I decided it would be a good idea to go do some artifact runs for some easy money. So, I went to go do the Skylord Cave. With that done, on to prep for the next one. I tried out a Mind White Tonic for the first time on the 85. All that to learn how to make a gas mask. So I bought some black pearls and made a handful, got some more pearls to make some shark repellent, and off I went to try to get the artifact of the cunning. I was quite nervous, okay, was getting some flashbacks from my hardcore The Island 200 Days video, but down we go. Holy moly. That's a, a whole battalion. Oh. oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, uh, it seems like the sharks are not aggroing. Artifact. Yes sir, we got it! I was proud of myself that I dared to do that. Small step for an arc pro, but a large step for a noob like me. Lucky me had an acro spawn next to the base. It ain't great in the melee department, but it's decent in health. I was set by clueless how this taming worked. Again, I only got told how it works. Never seen a tutorial or anything. So I trapped it, maybe too much so, as he didn't even know what to do. It's funny, I trapped this acro, and he's so much so stuck that he's not even aggroing onto me. Like, I stand next to him and he doesn't bite me. Like, he just looks in the opposite direction. He's just like, I don't want to look at you right now. I tried my best to damage him to go into his defensive stance, but nothing. Didn't do it a single time. So now that I hurt it so much, I needed to feed it all day long to get him healthy again to try for a round two. At night, I replaced the trap hoping that maybe for some reason that would help. But no this still wouldn't go into its defensive stance. That came in to lend me a hand and was just as confused as me as why it wouldn't trigger. So we would do it the old fashioned way. Took down the trap and began running for our lives. Oh shit, I'm about to die. Got it, got it. Got him again. Oh, uh, Pico stole my fire toxin. Oh. Got it. Here we go. Okay. He's out. Night, night, sweet prince.
Nice! I gave this sleeping beauty some mutton, and one stun had 38 points into health, which I was okay with. Since Nat was here, he helped me out to optimize the breeding systems at the breedery. This system was done on day 88. It has some flaws, sure, like some of the pickup distances from the terminals are overlapping, but it's pretty good now, from my opinion, you know, considering that the nests are now each individualized for one dino species per nest. I set out to the hard ice cave when I got distracted by this Alpha Rex, which I took out for my little chibi XP, but it took so much ammo to take down that I needed to prep yet again for the cave. And day 89 marked the day I'd be going into the artifact of the strong cave. For the first time, without looking at any guides, and severely underprepared. Ah, oh, nice metal sickle BP and slingshot BP. Let's yeah, go. boy. Whoa, hey. Whoa. Oh, what? <laughs> Stop laughing, kitty. This loot is <laughs> cash money. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you two gold for your slingshot thing so i can just put it in my dodos <laughs> okay okay it's a fair deal fair deal hello <gasps> oh my god ah oh no oh my god uh. i almost fell there <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna dismount and mount up again and hope for the fucking best. That's all I can okay, do, really. Hey guys! Holy shit! <gasps> I was whistling him to attack! Okay, so all this was a massive mess and I should have seen this coming. I quickly prepped some things and flew on over as Kitty and Chaotic were gearing up to help me out. Oh no. Oh. 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 It does not care about the water, dude. It does not care. It does not care. <laughs> ah, it's still coming. Thank you for stickers. I will remember this. This is like where we oh, shit. Like oh shit. Yes. We truly want to save this. Our only hope is a cryobot. Okay, 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 okay. Hold, good, hold H good? to check health for video. No, right there. The UD. We're gonna save the person that came save to save another person. Around the corner. Yeah, we go, Kenny. There we go. We need a cryopod, stat. Stat. There you go. Boom. There we go. Cryopod. It worked. Let's yeah. go. Woo. All right. That's one of the most tiring arc activities I have ever done. I will never underestimate caves again. To show my gratitude to them both, I gave them some of the loot that I found in the cave. I don't have a lot to give after that experience. So... I'm gonna give you the ascended slingshot and the things you wanted for your gamba. And I'm gonna give you this ascendant electric prod. Oh, beautiful. I don't right. know if you wanna give that to me, but um. As you, I think it? you are the most worthy person on the entire server <laughs> to have that. I'm sure I will cause a lot of trouble with it. I would hope so. Sir. I'll give you the gold from the artifact that I picked, as well as these ascendant 
kites and gauntlets, and because you are in the water, you get that. Ecclesiastar. Damn, what sense. the fuck kind of saddle is that? I don't know. Now I have to go tame some pleasies. Back into the rhythm on day 92 with some deep sea crate runs and breeding. As I was doing my daily chores, Nat alerted me that a good Bracky was nearby, and considering in all this time I had only gotten one health mutation into the Brackies, anything better than what we had right now is a major improvement. I grabbed my gear and rushed to the scene where we landed the KO, and Nat went all in and KO'd a second one, which was also looking pretty good. We were just hoping to get lucky on the stat rolls upon tanks. And Lady Luck was on it our tanked. side, yes indeed, as the first one was way better than the ones we were currently breeding. Oh, oh snap. snap! Second one on the next day, not so great, but hey, that's not important. I needed to get these new stats into our Brachys ASAP. At this point, not all my tames were fully mutated, but was making an army of dinos with the best stats that I had. By that I mean, for example, I mix my health rexes and melee rexes so I can make a horde of the best rexes I can for the boss fight. And well, that same process for Therese, Crocs, and Bracky, since my time was almost up and I wanted 100 tames per species, leveling up in soul balls for the extra XP. But it was a day of excitement as everyone in the server got a official invitation to raid Kitty and Skate's brand new fortress bank, which is just insane. And I knew I wanted to be a distraction in the fight, so I got a kit ready to do some sniping. We got everyone available together and went on out. Oh They've killed off tech quits, so that's all bits have gone. No! <laughs> the entire oh, no. clan went to smithereens. We were up there trying. I'm gonna go get bitch 300 brackets. Do you have any shadow sticks? Just send them in. We need a lot of shadow sticks. Fuck it. Yeah, so they're. Well, I get it. Oh, we're basically right up against this. Okay, well, I got. I think I have their attention towards south end because I've been shooting them and they kind of can't figure out where I'm at. So they might be more focused on south end. They're using scouts to try and find me. <laughs> Goodbye. Want some free bullets? Oh, we've taken down one, one outpost already. Yeah, I need the ally. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, thirty-nine, thirty-three. I'm like yeah. at the bottom of the volcano. Oh, RGs. Oh, I see you're set up the RGs. Oh, sup, man? Go, brother! Go, 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 go! Alright. I'm with you guys. I'm getting rid of their Giga that ran off. Uh, I got this one, Aaron. Don't worry, guys. Oh, uh, turrets! Turrets! The quest is here! The quest is here, be careful! Got the quest. Uh, I mean, got the Giga. It's dead. Nice. They've got plenty of Gigas. I heard here where, where Crow just was. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, okay, I see your quest is in. People, uh, the inform might literally permanently blind you. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from there then. Uh, I got right, fear roar on them. I got fear roar on them. Trying to keep that to a minimum. Ah, uh, rip. So okay, I see our Bracky horde. I brought another like 20 hmm. Brackies to add to that. I picked him! I picked him! I picked Skate! Yeah. I'm bringing him to you guys! I'm bringing him to you! He's right here! He's right here! Take him yep. to the quest. He's coming down! He's down here! He's down here! He's ready! 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 Nice! We took down one of theirs, I think. Yay! I've yeah. taken down the southern gate. Nice. Good job, Aaron. Good job. Yeah, I was going to say, Rampy's out and about. All right, like, I'm behind gonna, everything. I'm, I'm going to scout. I'm on an RG. I see him. I see him. He's right here. He's right here. I got him. I got him. I got him. I'm bringing him back. I'm bringing him back. Drop it. Yeah! Right underneath me. I'm already wrapped Okay, he netted. He netted. He netted, he's right here, he's right here. So I'm starting to believe 
No, no, he's stuck. No, he's stuck. He's stuck. He is netted. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. He's stuck. Quickly shoot him. Good job. Let's yeah. go. Yay. Where are you guys? Yeah, Putting uh, um, their trap down to the right of where the, the brackets are. Okay, so there. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna lead them away. I'm gonna try and lead them as far, as far away as possible. The bracket has been planted. There we go. We got fear roar. I'm like stuck, so. Enemy spotted. <laughs> That's why I was trying to get out of the way. I don't like where this is going. Stop! Stop! No. We can knock them out and get them to the spot where they won't die when we encounter them. There you go, I brought in those brackies. Sadly, due to an insane lag that I was getting, I had to re-log and by the time I got back, we the attackers had surrendered as we were essentially at a constant standstill, but many people had lost already so much shit. Being the loot goblin that I am, I was sure to scavenge the battlefield. Final stretch, baby, and there's a lot to be done. On day 97, I spent all day saddling and leveling brackies. And what can I say, this is a long process for all the other dinos needed to get the same treatment. Which took us into day 99, at the end of which I prepared a fob for all of the stuff we would need for the coming battle. Having sent out an invite to the other archivers, I hope that some would answer my call. And here we are, people! Day 100! This is where our efforts will shine. Or crash and burn to the ground. We shall see! The stage is prepped and ready to go. We had many lovely creators show up to pitch in and help the fight, which was very appreciated. And now, with some of my brackies named after my patrons, let's get this party started! Good. Yeah. Okay, on one. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so Round fucking one. nervous. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, let her rip, Chaotic. Well, you said on one. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, oh there no! it is! There it is! Okay. Ah! Okay, oh, I, I send in a couple. Oh, it's getting much. Oh, dude, look at the Crocs go! Holy! Wow. Oh, get away, get oh, away, get away. Away, away, away. I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move. Do you walk away? I gotta move. Ah! Get out! Get out. Dude, the crocs are insane. They're I thought these good. Oh. oh! Alright, here comes the next wave of crocs. Go. Send in the Air Force! Incoming! Okay, he's gonna do it. <laughs> oh, the RGs are there. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so good. Bring in the brekkies. Oh, Back up. No. There it is. Yep. No lead in. Oh, shit. Look at that Air Force. Come on, let's go. Rush Beast! No! <laughs> oh, there comes the red. Oh, Danger is attacking, Bobby! Oh, Danger is attacking, Bobby! Oh, Danger is Oh, here, wait, here, here. What you get? What you get? What you get? What yeah, here, here. I'll, I'll read it out to you guys. You got an okay. acro saddle. I got an, a, I got an ascendant right. acro saddle. I feel like since everyone's here, we should do another one. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We might as well. I can. I still got like four, four, three hundred, four hundred teams to go. Like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, let's try and get that acro BP. Come on. Yeah, let's go. go. Oh. Oh. Well. There you go, my lovelies. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I truly hope that you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms. Link them in the description down below. And I'll be seeing you next time. 
Take care now. Bye-bye.